Space Watchers. I have the pleasure, so we're on day two of Rema Space Tech, and I have the pleasure of being here with Monica, and I'm not going to attempt to but butcher your surname, so Monica, you can say afterwards, who is the Chief Business Development Officer of Cloud Ferro. So Monica, please introduce yourself to our lovely community of Space Watchers. Hello, um, I am Monika Krzyżanowska and I represent Cloud Ferro and we are a Polish private company, provider of, of cloud services, in particular for space sector. We are here at the space exhibition, so I think this part is obvious. So, uh, Polish sector, you must know that Polish sector is quite young. We joined ESA only like 10, 15 years ago. Uh, cloud Ferro is also a young company. We are, we are 10 years old. And we were founded to provide cloud services based on open source technology. So it means, uh, in our case, it means OpenStack and CEP is well known technology, it's a mature but open source. And to control all the technology stack, it means we are building our hardware, uh, we are configuring and we are delivering cloud services. Why we say that it's a space service? Because we, our infrastructure, hardware and software and all we do, is really um, specialized, optimized to provide access to Earth observation data in general and to Copernicus, the data from the Copernicus constellation in particular. We provide right now 90, almost 100 petabytes of Earth observation data daily to thousands of hundreds of users because Copernicus is a constellation with free publicly available data. I, I, I no, I for sure. I just want to because I think what's really impressive about what you do is you're using this data, you're providing a service across Europe uh, in a secure fashion, in a sustainable way. But I would like to touch on more that you're more interested in providing something to a user to allow them to do something. So because you know we get a lot of companies that are just focused on I'm collecting data, I have lots of images. So I'd love to hear about that, that what it is that's important about you guys to allow people to take, to get insights and to take decisions. So our core mission is, is really to provide secure and sustainable because we are sustainable for Europe. We are in Europe, we are European, we control all the technology stack. So we provide sustainable environment and tools for users in a public, private and or hybrid way to process to access and process that data. So we are really equivalent of a modern electricity provider. You don't, well, now you build your small power plant, but usually you didn't do it anymore. You don't build your roads, uh, your mobile network. Okay, so those cloud shared services can be used by anyone, like tools, uh, like uh, screwdrivers, like a modern electricity provider, or a cloud, cloud and AI ready environment. It means that you can also go into this cloud with your F observation data and prepare them to be analysis ready to make what is now called czars or cubes or embeddings. We will not go into AI because I guess you have other, uh, well, other friends explaining what, what all those tooling are is, uh, but this is all those um, Okay. Functions, capabilities are available in our uh, our infrastructure, in our services. I, I think, and so I'm just going to touch on this because I know what you guys do. I love working with you guys. The ability to have that secure data provision, that secure cloud services, that is in a simple way that allows users to do something with it. You know, what you're working on with Polish agriculture, for example, um, but there are so many different use cases. And I think that's what makes the distinction. We tend to see companies, we've got AI or we've got digital and we've got something com incredibly complex and not working on the end user. So I think that's great about what you're doing, but again, in that European access way. Yes. and. Uh well, our big advantage is that we are not very big, yeah. so we are flexible. It means that we adapt, we adapt our services, but we adapt also the security of our service to the end user needs. Uh, in particular, our clouds are um, ESI C5 certified for German customers who expected this particular security certificate. But another level of, uh, of security is related to availability. Mm. It means there is we, are, we have all the legal and um, let, 
governance related security, meaning there is no one in, out of, outside of Europe, outside of Poland, who can tell us, now you switch off those services for this particular user or for this particular area. Of course, uh, we comply with the restrictions, action list and everything because we comply with legislation, but it's our legislation. Yeah. Admit it, our European, our Polish. Which very much makes me happy because collaboration, European cooperation together and showing the great capabilities and technology we have. And I, it would be remiss of me, Monica, if I weren't to point out as well, this beautiful Lego representation of everything you're doing in Cloud Ferro, which I think is a more innovative way of explaining it to people. Well, how do you show cloud services, which are cloud per, per se? Well, we tried to visualize it to show people, yeah, it means you receive the data, it means you process them, you store them, and you have access to those data. And you can take it with them in a way, your piece of the cloud. Thank much you. more interactive way. Well, thank you so much, Monica, for talking to us. Let's lose the antenna, so. Let's not lose the antenna, so. I, I am not touching it. I don't want to break anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you so much. And please like connect with uh, Cloud Ferro, anyone that wants proper, secure, sustainable cloud services. It's European-based. Space watch out.